NASA reported that a space station's robotic arm released a cargo pallet containing batteries over the Pacific Ocean while orbiting 260 miles above Earth's surface. This practice is common among space agencies and commercial companies to avoid contributing to Earth's space junk problem. Defunct hardware, such as dead satellites and spent rocket parts, typically burn up in the atmosphere, but some survive the journey and fall into the ocean. Imagine a universe where space travel is a hazard, and the skies are filled with hurtling debris. With over 100 million pieces of space junk orbiting Earth, the risk of collision is higher than ever. Can we clear the clutter before it's too late? Or will our space ambitions be crushed by the weight of our own waste? Join us as we delve into the perilous world of space debris hurtling through our atmosphere at an astonishing 18,000 miles per hour. In May 2021, Debris from a 20-ton Chinese rocket landed in the Indian Ocean, sparking debates on safe handling of space junk. In February, the European Space Agency monitored a dead satellite falling back to Earth uncontrolled over the Pacific Ocean. While in 2011, NASA dealt with a similar situation when a bus-sized satellite made an uncontrolled re-entry through the atmosphere, causing what survived to plunge into a remote part of the Pacific. Tens of thousands of pieces of debris hurtling through space at a staggering 18,000 miles per hour pose a formidable threat to our modern way of life. The remnants of old satellites, rocket parts, and other human-made objects, abandoned and forgotten, now orbit the Earth with reckless abandon. This swirling cloud of space junk puts our global communications, navigation, and economy at risk of catastrophic failure. And with those collisions, it's gonna cause even more pieces of debris Imagine a world without GPS, where planes, ships, and cars lose their way. Picture a globe where financial transactions, news broadcasts, and social media connections are severed. Envision the economic chaos and social unrest that would ensue if our reliance on space-based technologies were to be disrupted. The debris field is vast and growing, with new pieces added daily. Defunct satellites like ghostly relics continue to orbit, their useful life long expired. Rocket parts, once crucial for propulsion, now careen through space, a hazard to operational spacecraft. Even tiny fragments, mere inches in size, can cause devastating damage at such high speeds. The clock is ticking, and the threat is real. It's time to confront the consequences of our space activities and take responsibility for the mess we've made. A Michigan couple, when a satellite crash-landed in their backyard and their reaction, priceless. We must act now to prevent a catastrophic collision, mitigate the risks, and ensure the long-term sustainability of our space endeavors. What was once a minor concern has now spiraled out of control, becoming a critical issue that threatens the very fabric of our space-based infrastructure. For decades, the problem has been ignored, relegated to the back burner, and left to simmer. But the consequences of inaction can no longer be ignored. The numbers are staggering. Over 100 million pieces of debris orbit the Earth, ranging in size from a marble to a school bus. Every day, new fragments are added, the result of collisions, explosions, and human error. The debris field is vast, encompassing low Earth orbit, geostationary orbit, and even interplanetary space. The exponential growth of space debris is a ticking time bomb, threatening the stability and security of our global communications, navigation, and economic systems. It's a problem that affects us all, from the satellites that power our smartphones to the spacecraft that explore our universe. Guys, I gotta tell you, I think my spatch has escaped. The time for complacency is over. We must confront the reality of space debris and take immediate action to mitigate its effects. It requires a concerted effort from governments, industries, and individuals to address this issue, develop sustainable solutions, and ensure the long-term sustainability of our space endeavors. When space debris hits, it's like a bullet traveling at a staggering 18,000 miles per hour, packing a punch that can cause catastrophic damage. The impact is instantaneous, the consequences devastating. Even small fragments, mere inches in size, can inflict massive harm, crippling satellites and spacecraft alike. The velocity of space debris is unforgiving, generating an enormous amount of kinetic energy that can rip through even the toughest materials. The result is often a chain reaction of destruction, as one collision triggers another, and another, in a domino effect that can spread far and wide. Satellites, 
crucial for our global communications, navigation, and weather forecasting are particularly vulnerable. A single hit can cause malfunctions, data loss, and even complete system failure. Spacecraft, too, are at risk. Their delicate instruments and equipment susceptible to damage from even the smallest fragments. The risk of a chain reaction grows with each new piece of debris added to the already crowded skies. It's a ticking time bomb, waiting to unleash a cascade of destruction that could cripple our entire space-based infrastructure. The consequences are too dire to ignore, and the need for action is urgent. We must address the problem of space debris before it's too late, and the damage becomes irreversible. The economic impact of space debris is staggering, with estimated damages running into billions of dollars. The financial toll is felt across various industries, from telecommunications and navigation to weather forecasting and scientific research. The loss of a single satellite can result in significant financial losses, affecting businesses, governments, and individuals alike. The consequences of space debris extend beyond direct damages, as countless hours of lost productivity and opportunity costs are also incurred. The disruption of critical satellite services can have a ripple effect throughout the global economy, impacting financial transactions and banking systems, air travel and transportation networks, weather forecasting and emergency response services, scientific research and discovery, national security and defense operations. Moreover, the threat of space debris affects us all, from the satellites that power our smartphones and GPS devices to the spacecraft that explore our universe and expand our knowledge. The economic impact is a reminder that the problem of space debris requires immediate attention and collective action to mitigate its effects and ensure the long-term sustainability of our space-based infrastructure. We have a somewhat risky environment that we've created because we are surrounded, our planet is surrounded by this cloud of space debris. In 2014, NASA conducted a test called DEBRISAT, a collaboration with the Space Force Space Systems Command, the University of Florida, the Aerospace Corporation, and the Air Force Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC. The goal of the test was to simulate a collision with space debris by shooting a mock satellite with a hypervelocity gun. The results of the test were used to improve space situational awareness and satellite breakup models. The results were alarming, as even small fragments caused significant damage, and the test revealed a higher number of small fragments in space than previously thought. This experiment served as a wake-up call for the space industry, highlighting the urgent need for addressing the issue of space debris. The test underscored the potential catastrophic consequences of collisions in space and emphasized the importance of developing strategies to mitigate and remediate space debris. But amidst the chaos of space debris, there's a glimmer of hope. Innovative technologies and responsible space practices are emerging, offering a solution to this pressing issue. Debris removal technologies such as harpoons and nets are being developed to capture and dispose of space debris, preventing further collisions and fragmentation. These cutting-edge solutions include harpoons that can latch onto debris and pull it out of orbit, nets that can ensnare and contain debris, preventing further damage, tugboats that can tow debris to a safe disposal orbit. Responsible space practices are also gaining traction, focusing on preventing new debris from entering orbit in the first place. These practices include deorbiting satellites at the end of their life cycle, ensuring they don't remain in orbit to become potential collision targets, using sustainable materials and designs that minimize the risk of debris generation, implementing robust quality control measures to prevent malfunctions and explosions, encouraging international cooperation and regulations to ensure a unified approach to addressing space debris, by embracing these innovative technologies and responsible practices, we can mitigate the risk of space debris and ensure a safer, more sustainable future for space exploration and development. The quest to address the space debris crisis has become a global effort, with companies and organizations from all corners of the world working tirelessly to develop innovative solutions. From pioneering startups to governments and international organizations, everyone is playing a vital role in keeping our planet safe and our space clean. Startups like Astroscale, Deorbit, and Xpace are developing cutting-edge technologies to remove debris from orbit, while established companies like SpaceX, OneWeb, and Amazon's Kuiper Systems are incorporating sustainable practices into their satellite design and deployment.
governments are also taking action, with agencies like NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, investing in debris removal research and development. International organizations like the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNUSA, and the Interagency Space Debris Coordination Committee, IADC, are working to establish global guidelines and standards for responsible space operations. Furthermore, initiatives like the Space Sustainability Rating System and the Global Space Governance Study are promoting best practices and encouraging collaboration among stakeholders. The combined efforts of these organizations, companies, and governments are crucial in addressing the space debris challenge and ensuring a safe and sustainable future for space exploration and development. The space junk crash is a wake-up call for all of us. The alarming rate at which space debris is accumulating in our orbit is a stark reminder of the urgent need for collective action. Let's work together to keep our planet safe and our space clean. We owe it to ourselves, our children, and future generations to ensure that the final frontier remains a beacon of hope and discovery, not a junkyard of human neglect. The space junk crash serves as a stark wake-up call, highlighting the urgent need for collective action to address the growing threat of space debris. As we navigate the challenges of our modern world, let us not forget the importance of responsible space practices and innovative technologies in safeguarding our planet and preserving the wonders of the cosmos. If you found this video thought-provoking, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on space exploration and science. Together, let's work towards a safer and more sustainable future in space. Thank you for watching.